AGI32's Roadway Optimizer is an excellent tool for the calculation of roadway lighting criteria as established by the IES, the CIE, BSEN, and the Australian and New Zealand standards. All of these standards are based on the calculation of a typical roadway section. Roadway Optimizer can be accessed from the Design Tools section on top of the model working area. If you have not yet defined your luminaires, you will be prompted to do so before using this feature. Roadway Optimizer is self-contained in its own dialog. It is designed to optimize pole spacing given specific criteria for lighting system performance. Given the architecture of the roadway and lighting system parameters, Roadway Optimizer will allow you to select the desired optimization criteria based on pavement luminance and associated quantities, illuminance, and uniformity. Under default operation, the software will attempt to find the maximum pole spacing to meet your selection of criteria. Let's run a few calculations. Ignore the layout numbers for now. These are used to compare different layouts. Begin by selecting the IES RP8 roadway standard from the pull-down menu. Select an R3 pavement surface, slightly specular asphalt. See RP8 for detailed R-table definitions. Now select a roadway layout. We'll use two rows opposite with median. You can see a sketch of the layout along with the standard calculation area in the lower portion of the dialog. Enter the roadway width and the direction of travel. We'll use 24 feet. That's two lanes. Enter the median width. We'll use 10 feet. The number of lanes in the direction of travel is two. You can see our lane indicators here. The next step is the luminaire selection. We have access to the Define dialog from Roadway Optimizer with the Luminaires button. We already have two definitions loaded. Our trusty ZL150 LED luminaire in a single configuration and also in a two-back-to-back -back configuration. Notice we've specified an arm length for both. This is best practice. The back-to-back -back arrangement will be nice to have if we happen to use median mounted poles. Now let's select the luminaire definition to be used. Row 1 is red and is seen as red in the bottom. We'll use the ZL Road LED 150. A mounting height of 35 feet and let's set those back 6 feet from the curb line. So that puts the light center directly over the curb. Row 2 same luminaire, same mounting height, same setback. We have some other aiming options, but these are not typically employed. We're now ready to set our optimization criteria. We'll use an IES RP8 major street with low pedestrian conflict. This specifies an average luminance of 0 0.6 candelas per meter squared and an average to minimum ratio in the luminance category of 3.5, a maximum to minimum ratio in the luminance category of 6.0, and finally a maximum veiling luminance ratio of 0.3. That's the maximum veiling luminance divided by the average pavement luminance. We're now ready to calculate the results. Click the Calculate button. We can watch the program go through its optimizations right here. It was very quick. Optimizer arrived at a pole spacing of 210 feet, and you can see in red we didn't quite make our average luminance of 0.6 candelas per meter squared. We fell slightly short at 0.58. We achieved our average to minimum and our maximum to minimum ratios. And scrolling down, we also made our max veiling luminance ratio. Notice the little black triangle is pointing at the luminance calculation. This is the grid that you're actually looking at in the window, luminance. And if you click in the window, you can actually zoom in by rolling the mouse wheel and pan around just like you do normally in AGI32's model mode. So these are the luminance points. We can easily move to see any of the other calculated grids by just clicking.
we can look at illuminance. There's our illuminance values. We can scroll down. We can look at the veiling luminance numbers. This is the veiling luminance at every point. So it's easy to see all of the different grids that are computed. Click on luminance and we're back there. Roadway Optimizer's optimization criteria can be seen in the System Settings dialog. Let's look at the precision for the average number. It's allowing us plus or minus 10% over and under. What if we changed the lower boundary to 1%? Maybe we can get a little closer before the optimizer stops its calculation process. Let's calculate again. We dropped from 210 feet to 203 feet and we nailed the average luminance at 0 0.6. The optimization criteria can be sorted to force the software to evaluate selected criteria in the order listed. Currently we're evaluating the average luminance first. What if we selected the max LV ratio, hold down the Alt press the up arrow key and we can actually move that to the top of the list. So now the controlling criteria would be the maximum veiling luminance ratio. Let's calculate and see if we get a different number. The results can vary, but typically it's very slight. In this case, we arrived at the same number. What if we wanted to enter our own spacing? What do you think we can get with 205 foot spacing? We can do this by using the Calculate Based on Set Spacing radio button. So now rather than optimizing, we can enter our own spacing. We'll move over into the Luminaire rows. Let's type in 205. So we'll try to bump the poles another two feet apart. Let's click Calculate. Looks like at 205, we're right in there. So the optimization process didn't quite nail it at 205 feet. It was extremely close. So this can be useful to evaluate your own pole spacings. If we're happy, we're ready to create output. We can click on the print button and print straight to PDF. All you need to do is have a PDF printer established on your system. Select the paper size and go. You'll get a nice piece of formatted output with all the different calculation grids. You can even include your own logo. Click the banner setup to go and load your own. The other thing that you can do, subject of another lesson, is you can actually export the calculations straight to AGI32's model mode. So if I drop them at 00, zero I can rotate them. Why would you want to do that? You might actually want to align it with a CAD drawing. I can drop it again. I can keep dropping this grid as often as I like. That's more advanced subject matter for a later conversation. So that's the basics of Roadway Optimizer in a nutshell. We'll come back and in the next video we'll run some comparisons between different poll configurations.